Hello guys, my name is Tessie Ekstein from Brain Planet Studios. Regarding our last video about three simple effects you can do with Premiere Pro, we asked you guys to make a request on the effect you want us to do the studio on. And we've gone through our comment section and we have the effect with the highest request. And today, we're going to be making a tutorial on that effect. Over to you boss. All right guys, my name is Anthony J. First thing you need to know is that you need to put your camera locked tight on a tripod which will make your life so much easier. Take a shot with your character jumping on the scene. Then screenshots with your Premiere Pro. I'm sure you know the key to screenshot with Premiere Pro. Sorry that it's not showing fully because my screen recorder is not displaying everything needed. And most importantly, you need to use your razor to to cut the points in the so you'll be able to locate it very easy. Alright, now you use your opacity to, to mask. This is not a tutorial for masking, so I'm sure you already know how to mask. If you don't, just drop it in the comment section and I'll do a tutorial. As you can see, the picture is now separated from the background. <clears throat> now you have to keyframe this picture layer to move in the direction you want it to, so, and don't forget to turn on your toggle animation. And another thing, you need to use an empty shot because you don't want your character to be in the shot while the video is starting. So you need to create an empty shot and place it right underneath the picture layer and trim your video to that point. Alright, now when you play back, you have something like this. It's cool, but it's not over yet. So now the next thing you want to do is add a motion blur effect. There are different kind of blur effects in Premiere Pro, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the fast blur because it has um, options for horizontal and vertical. Here you go. Now, as you can see, I use the vertical because the character is coming from the top, so it's the vertical from 
So when you blow, the blow is going to be in a vertical motion. Sorry for the delay for this tutorial, we are currently working.